Welcome to another Power BI video and due to high demand and your comments for me to explain how the report was built so I'm recreating this report in Power BI I made last year and this is a simple report that shows the total customers, orders, quantity, shipping cost, sales and income per customer segment, category, state and region and without further ado, let's start building the report Okay, so first open your PowerPoint and what we'll do is we will create our banner and background for Power BI report. You can use any software you're comfortable with but for simplicity we'll use PowerPoint. And you can see here I'm just drag and dropping rectangular shape and I will fit its size within the wheel of my slide. And I will change its color and I'll put some shadow and these shadows would give us the effect of layers within our banner While for the image that we will put in the right side of our banner, we can go to insert and select icons, select images, and you can search for the image that you want to use. Uh, the good thing about using PowerPoint is that it's easy to move and resize shape that would fit in our canvas. Also, you can edit images like changing its color as well. Now we can put the final background color of our banner. And in PowerPoint, we can also create our logo. And you can see here, these are the simple text that will group together and later on we'll save it as a picture. Then once saved, we will import that image into our Power BI canvas. To save our banner and logo, save as the image as a picture, then save it to your desktop. Now we will import our banner to our Power BI canvas as a background, while we will import our icon as a separate image. You can add header text if you like, then format and adjust its font style, height, and orientation. You can also add an additional text or instruction or purpose of your report. To create your customized icons, let's go back to PowerPoint and from there you can search for your icons. You can be creative in selecting your icon but it's highly suggested to use only images that represents the information or data you want to show in your report.
then of course we will import our icons as image to our Power BI canvas. And once your icons are imported to Power BI, what you will do is to rearrange or arrange it accordingly so you would have a feel on how much width or height you need for each of the icon to fit in your Power BI canvas. For the dataset, you can refer to the description link of this video, so you can also use the sample dataset. And in this part, we will now format and finalize our visual cards. Now, these cards will show or represent the total customers, total orders, total quantity, average shipping time or delivery time, total shipment cost or shipping cost, sales income, and total net profit. And all formattings are basic and then under properties or if you can see the paint icon in the visual card and no cost of formatting. The best thing I love about Power BI is that it's really easy to drag and drop data from the dataset or field pane to the visuals. We can highlight similar visuals and format it all at once. We will then remove all background color by turning off the background option and change the font size and font color to match with our dark background. Once all cards are laid out, we will add another layer of rectangle to differentiate our background to visual cards. And finally, we will add text that will describe each cards to our report users. And in this case, I really suggest when you are doing this multiple formatting in Power BI, you can format and finalize one visual first, then copy and paste it so it would be easier. And you could just update the text of each text box later on. Alright, now in this part, we'll add filters, but instead of vertical filters, we'll change it to a horizontal filter. This is because we want to have a separation between our visual cards to our charts. And this would also help your users to identify the location of your filters.
In this file part, you can adjust the height and width of your canvas if you feel you would need more space at the bottom or at the right side of your canvas. You can adjust the space and white space of your visuals and banner. You can start adding more visuals like donut chart to show compositions among categories, column and bar graphs if you want to compare categories, scatter plot if you want to show distribution, or bubble charts if you want to show your data relate to each other. Also, you can be creative and analytical in this part, but I would heavily suggest to use simple visuals as much as possible for your report readers to understand what you want to convey easily and you can keep off on using advanced visualization if you know it won't help you to show something or it won't add any value in your narratives since this is simple report only we'll limit ourselves to donut chart column graphs bar graphs or bubble charts and map visuals for our donut chart, we want to show composition of customer segment, product, category, and shipping mode. We will use red to yellow color range so it would blend nicely to our dark banner and light background. Next is we will add clustered column charts to show sales and profit performance per month. while a clustered bar chart to show sales and profit performance on per state and per city. For scatter plot, we want to show the sales and profit on a daily basis. And finally, a map visual to show sales per state. And that's the end of this video. Hope I was able to explain it clearly to you within a few minutes. And I hope you are inspired with this design and motivated to use Power BI in your current and future reporting. Having that said, see you in the next video.